Over the years, patient-nurse ratio has been a major challenge in the health sector, making it difficult to achieve universal health coverage. Patient-nurse uh, ratio, currently in Africa, and mainly in Kenya and in Africa, there's a big gap. We train very high caliber nurses, and I wouldn't be surprised that in two years, 60% of these nurses you saw here today will be in the first world. That's one of our biggest problems. And even though nurses graduate each and every day, Kenya still lacks the capacity to accommodate the graduates and sustain them. As we are talking today, we have 4,000 doctors who are trained, qualified, but they have no job. I remember a month or two, one doctor committed suicide in Mombasa. But when you go to the dispensaries, there are no doctors. Why? because there's no capacity to sustain them. This is one among many reasons why affordable and accessible healthcare still feels like a far-fetched dream. The bulk of the Kenyans die from very basic diseases, Madam Bongora, in the village. You find a lot of people go to a level six or store, and there's no Panadol. Am I cheating? And then there is no nurse. There is no doctor. The health sector is the most complex and complicated sector. You need a lot of investments, not only in human infrastructure, in equipment, in drugs, you know, so it, it, it's expensive. And with the current unemployment rate in Kenya, 90% of nurses in the country have been forced to seek greener pastures outside the country, leaving behind a huge deficit. There's a competition around the world for hiring nurses. So if a nurse is in Kenya, he's paid in shillings, and there's a vacancy in England, and she's paying in pounds, that she goes. She so that's it's, it's a challenge it's all over the world. You know, there's a shortage of nurses. Robbie Omondi, K24.